Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome this to... This meeting is being recorded. Oh. All right, now I'll say it. I had to wait for our official recording sound. Good evening, and welcome to the Sunderland Select Board. Uh, this is a meeting, uh, one of our regularly scheduled ones. We're on every other week, theoretically, unless we need to do things for business. Um, and Tom is off on vacation tonight, so I'll be filling in for him. Today is July 12th, 2021, and bear with us, we're doing, this is actually our second meeting back in our old room live, so we're doing a hybrid setup here where we've got folks, if there's anybody in there, I know we've got Cindy on, I don't know who else is on, but um, we're doing sort of a hybrid setup. With okay, I think we were having technical difficulties, we're back. So we're doing a hybrid um, setup tonight, so, um, Bear with us in case we have any technical difficulties here. So luckily we have a short agenda tonight. We've got um, our minutes. We've got discussion of an animal control officer job description. And then appointment of police officers as alcohol control, excuse me, alcohol enforcement officers, which we usually do. And then we have select board updates and any town administrator updates. So without further ado, um, for the Minutes for June 21st. We have a motion on that. Yeah, I well. motion we accept the minutes. All right. Uh, and since I'm the only appellate person here, I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Zero on our minutes. <clears throat> so next up is we need to appoint a new animal control officer. So we've been, did we make any amendments to the description since um, the, the personnel committee? Uh, the only amendments were relative to the name of the certification authority, I think, and the, okay. the training requirements. Just uh, probably yeah. updating it since yeah. the last time. Exactly. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Are there any, any points you want to discuss on that? It's kind of hard to see from here. It is. It's a yeah. little blurry. <laughs> it um, is. No, no, I think that... You know, we, we've had an, the same animal control officer for a number of years, and nope. um, he de decided that he didn't want to be reappointed this year, so uh, nope. we'll, we'll go out and try to find somebody else. Um, if you're interested, please contact the town administrator. Exactly. It's a, um, sort of an on-call position. It's not no, no regular hours, but if there is an animal issue, um, need to be available to respond to that and hopefully we'll find a good candidate and and get somebody in and if not we'll explore what other options, options are about sharing or something like that yeah another maybe community. with the fur cog or something or yeah. yeah okay all right so if anybody's interested like jeff said uh, contact us it's one of those things that you don't need a lot but when you do it's an important you know every now and then we do get a rabid skunk or raccoon or something or Creatures that shouldn't be where they are, that happens. All right, so you would like a vote on the updated job description, right? Yes, a motion right. approved. So I am, I'm, uh, well, yeah, I motion Monday. we <laughs> approve the description as presented. All right, uh, and I'll second. All those in favor of updating the animal control officer job description? Aye. Aye. All right, two to zero on that one. <clears throat> And I know, um, too, there have been, there's been a lot more deer around, too, I think, and other things. So, you know, that, yeah, could have issues every now and then, so. <clears throat> and there have been occasional moose sightings outside of town hall here and things, so things do happen. <clears throat> so our next up is an appointment of police officers as Alcantar, Al I can't talk either. It's not alcohol go. control. I've been in meetings all day, literally. So, <laughs> alcohol control officers. <clears throat> and as typical, we usually appoint everybody in our department, right, as alcohol control right. officers. So, um, we've got our, our police chief. We've got, uh, and these are, I'll do our full time officers first. I'm trying to read the. Do I do I can. Is it ben Benjamin Peters, Peter Scoble, Brenda Tozlowski, Brendan Lyons? Later. I think I got it. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Zach, and then our part time officers, Zachary Smith, Gerald Beltram, Vincent Faby, Dan Dale Brown, Benjamin Drake, Jordan Zukowski, Daniel Fernandez, and Taylor Beaudry. 
Do we have a motion to appoint the I motion slate? I, I motion we accept it as presented. All right. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So it's sort of one of our, just for folks, that's sort of one of our procedural things, essentially, to make sure that they are appointed as alcohol control officers. Right, which allows them to go in and do stings and Force check that. to make sure that the yeah. alcohol laws are being followed. Yep, because yep. we do have some establishments in town with licenses, so. All right, next up we hit our select board updates. <clears throat> I, don't, uh, I don't have any updates. It's actually uh, been a... Somewhat of a quiet week compared to the way things usually are, so. I have no updates either. Okay. Right. So then with that, we'll turn it over to the town administrator corner. Yeah, just a couple of updates. Um, at the next select board meeting on July 26th, um, we're going to have a presentation from the technical uh, assistance consultants uh, over under for our rapid recovery planning grant and the purpose of that meeting is to talk about some of the areas that that they'd like to focus on um, narrow their focus a little bit uh, in preparation for the plan which we're hoping to have by the end of the summer early fall and okay. that's uh, sort of based around economic recovery from the pandemic and we're also focusing on the village center and the intersection of 47 and 116 and um, how can how we can create more of a, a village center feel yep so that's yeah that, that's important too because you get a lot of economic issues tied up with that and, and and trying to find that balance i know some communities do struggle with that balance between because a lot of it is still residential and yep. yeah that's always a challenge so that's exciting um on a more sober note, I got an email around five o'clock that um, the state did not approve our mosquito control plan. Uh, the letter did not give much information about why it wasn't approved, so I'll follow up with them. I'll also try and get examples of plans that were approved to get a better idea so that if we decide to apply again next year, we'll have a greater chance of success. Um, and then the last update is an exciting one. The Sunderland Public Library is back to being open. Uh, today is the first day that they're resuming normal hours. And uh, I talked to the director and she said it went well today so far. So we're, we're excited. Um, and I know the library staff is excited too. Oh, that's great. And I think, do they, do they require, I think they require masks though. In there. They are requiring right. masks because they do have children's children, programs right. and, and they're not allowed and... to be vaccinated. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. So just keep that in mind, folks. And if you have any questions, check out the website for the library. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. I've been talking all day long. So my voice is like disappearing. <clears throat> all right. I think that sadly ends our exhaustive agenda for tonight. <laughs> um, nobody has anything else. Anybody on the line have anything? I don't know how many people we've got on the line, but. Yeah, I mean, I, if, 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 if we have a minute, comment. I would just ask Cindy, did you, were you able to follow along if you're there and hear us? And how was the experience from a remote audience perspective? Um, yes, I could follow along uh, the and towards David was a little less clear coming through. Yeah. And you can't see that screen over there. I can see it there, but I can't read it. Can't read it. Okay. All right. That, it's good to know because this helps us kind of work out some technical kinks and yeah. try to figure out, you know, what we're going to do in the long run. So I can hear Jeff just fine. So maybe it's just placement of a microphone because you're more echoey, David, when you speak. I know. How's so it's is that? To understand. Is that She's better? hearing through the phone. Oh, that could be. Yeah. yeah. So okay, we just need to, to move the phone over. Uh, we're 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 using the phone for our. Uh, you're on Zoom, right? You're not watching on TV. Correct. I'm on Zoom. I couldn't get on TV. I can figure yeah. out how to do that. Yeah. So I, we're. Fifteen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, we have the phone placed near me, which is probably why I'm the loudest. Yeah. And then David's the furthest away, so we can probably get a longer cord. To, or, or maybe we can get, I know some, like on some of our, op, op, some of our offices, we have like extra microphones 
in yeah. the conference rooms. Maybe we, I, if we can get one for that, then you can keep the phone there, right? And then have one in front of like a yeah Daisy you know, chain. Up. Something to look at. Okay. okay. Thanks, right. Cindy. Thank you. I'm Thanks. trying to get on television, but is there I anyone my else on, on myself? <laughs> <laughs> is there anyone else on Zoom? No. Okay. okay. No, it was just us and Cindy. All right. So, because I want to make sure for the public comment section. Yeah. Anybody hear any public comments at all? Huh? All right. Um, our next meeting will be Monday, July 26, two weeks from today, unless something comes up in the interim. Um, so we'll see you then. Um, and if not, I, well, otherwise, I guess I'd take a motion to adjourn. I motion we adjourn. All right. I'll second. All those in favor of adjournment at, uh, like, what is it, 647, 645? Aye. Aye. All right, thanks everybody and have a good night. We'll see you in two weeks.